Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wake Up Report. And Russell Simmons is a rapist. There's no other way to put it. No matter how much money you have, no matter how much status you have, no matter how much power you have, no matter how much fame you have, no matter how many people know your name, it doesn't change the fact that all your money, power, fame, and status can't change the fact that you are a dirty, no good, scumbag rapist. And this latest story has absolutely proven that to be a matter of fact. I would like to see you yoga and meditate your way out of this one. Russell Simmons has uh, announced that he will be stepping away from uh, all of uh, the companies that he is in charge of. I guess this is standard practice of all the rapist dirtbags in Hollywood. Once we find out that you're a rapist or you're a child molester, you're a piece of scum, I will be taking a leave of absence away from my companies. Uh, anyway, he stepped away from his companies uh, and HBO has uh, removed his name from the uh, Def Jam comedy series that he started after an uh, allegation has now surfaced that Russell Simmons indeed forced himself upon uh, Jenny LeMay. Jenny Lamette, for those of you who don't know, is the daughter of uh, director and writer Sidney Lamette, one of the most distinguished and respected writers and directors in uh, motion pictures, unless, God forbid, we find out Sidney Lamette. Uh, uh, assaulted somebody or uh, raped somebody or something like that. Miss Lamette has come forward and said that uh, back in 1991, Russell Simmons forced himself on her sexually to the point to where he locked her inside of a limousine, refused to let her out, uh, uh, refused to take her to her own apartment, took her to his apartment, and proceeded to rape her. And uh, while Russell Simmons, uh, in the previous story, uh, had the um, uh, New York sex, uh, uh, con sexual consent laws on his side, he ain't got nothing on his side this time. She's got him dead to rights. So run, I'm glad you became a reverend because you got your hands full with your brother apparently. Jenny Lamette is the latest in a long, long God, how long is the line of uh, women that have uh, begun to come forward and um, voice their um, accusations of sexual assault by uh, pretty much uh, most of male Hollywood, it would seem. Uh, most of these women have all had horror stories uh, recounting uh, uh, men who have forced themselves upon them, uh, uh, forced them into sexual favors in order for jobs and job security and things like that. Uh, just all kinds of stuff, man. And we just, we, you, I guess, I guess we've yet to scratch the surface uh, on how many sleaze bags and scum buckets there are in Hollywood. A lot of them we have come to know and respect as actors and producers and, and, and things like that. Russell Simmons being one of them, founder of, uh, of Def Jam Music, uh, the man who was responsible for bringing hip hop to the masses is now responsible <laughs> for pretty much raping the masses as well. And uh, why is this latest allegation particularly damning and damaging to Russell Simmons? Well, on November 22nd of 2017, Russell Simmons wrote, I have never committed any acts of aggression or violence in my life. I would never knowingly cause fear or harm to anyone. That was in response to the, uh, the model who had claimed when she was 17 years old, Russell Simmons forced her into oral sex while Brett Ratner watched in a hotel room. And of course, uh, New York's uh, uh, age of consent laws is pretty much what saved him because uh, at 17 years old, he knew how to pick his victims uh, wisely. So uh, at 17, uh, he claimed it was consensual. She says it wasn't. So of course, that whole back and forth is so um, uh, is so much gray area in there. You know, uh, you know, never mind the fact that was a 17 year old doing hanging out with a 32 year old man, you know, at the time. But there was so much gray area in that you didn't know who to believe. Um, all I know is you had sex with a 17 year old girl or you made her have oral sex with you. And that in of itself was absolutely disgusting. And it made you nothing more than a child molester. Well, on uh, November the 30th of 2017, Ms. Lamette wrote this. I got into the car with you. The driver began to drive. I assumed you knew where I lived because you had sent me 250 balloons. But I gave the driver my address on 19th Street and 2nd Avenue. You said to the driver, no. I didn't understand, so I said, Russell. I said again to the driver, 19th Street. 
Again, you said to the driver, no. Then the car doors locked. It was loud. The noise made me jump. I didn't recognize you at that moment. It was disorienting. It was disorienting. I say it twice now because you said no twice then. I couldn't open the doors. I couldn't open the windows. The car was moving. The driver did not stop. He did not take me to 19th Street. He took me to your apartment. I didn't try to kick the windows out. I didn't punch or kick. I didn't say, what are you doing? My voice left me after the second no. I saw no one else. I recall you were behind me. I was still hoping the Russell I knew would reappear as I could not recognize the man moving me deeper into the apartment. The man who has said no to his driver twice. You moved me into a bedroom. I said, wait, you said nothing. I made the trade in my mind. I thought just keep calm and you'll get home. Maybe another person would have thought differently or not made the trade it was dark but not pitch dark you closed the door at that point i simply did what i was told there was penetration at one point you were only semi-erect and appeared frustrated angry i remember being afraid that you would deem that my fault and become violent i did not know if you were angry but i was afraid that you were you told me to turn over on my stomach. You said something about a part of my body. You did not ejaculate inside me. Once again, another November quote from Russell Simmons. Abusing women in any way, shape, or form violates the very core of my being. You are a rapist, Russell Simmons. You are a sleaze bucket dirtbag rapist. This is not some chick with hopes and dreams of making it big in Hollywood or big in the music business. This is Sidney Lamette's daughter, one of the most respected directors in Hollywood, the daughter of Sidney Lamette. You raped the daughter of, don't you have daughters, Russell Simmons? Don't you have daughters? Do you not think about your daughters or maybe your wife when you're raping somebody else's daughter? All that meditation and yoga and Buddhism and Hinduism, you know, whatever it is that you claim you practice. You know, I don't think you're married now, but when you were married to Kimora Lee, did you ever think about when maybe she's out doing business uh, by herself and you're not with her? If somebody snatched her in an alley and raped her, how you would how that would make you feel while you're raping another man's daughter? And this is what even makes this even more sick. Jenny Lamette is the granddaughter of Lena Horn. You raped the granddaughter of Lena Horn. That is like raping the granddaughter of Rosa Parks. Now, according to Miss Lamette, this happened uh, when she was about 25 years old. So uh, at 25, Russell, a lot of thought she was in the clear. You know, for you, that's like a senior citizen. And of course, uh, you know, in lieu of these uh, new allegations, Russell Simmons released yet another response. Um, you know, I have been informed with great anguish of Jenny Lamette's recollection about our night together. It wasn't her night together. Uh, uh, it was your night in 1991. I know Jenny and her family and have seen her several times times over the years you know hey how you doing Jenny how was that rape that happened back in 91 um, you know uh, since the evening she described while her memory of that evening is very different from mine it's always different isn't it uh, it is now clear to me that her feelings of fear and intimidation blah 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 bullshit because that's what all this crap you're spewing out of your mouth means you don't mean a word of it I am removing myself from the businesses that I founded the companies will now be run by a new and diverse generation of extraordinary executives who are moving the culture and consciousness forward I will convert the studio for yoga science into a not for profit center of learning and healing as for me I will step aside and commit myself to continuing my personal growth spiritual learning and above all to listening commit yourself to the nearest jail cell that you can find russell simmons you need to serve time for rape not only you but that limousine driver we need to track that driver down and charge that person with rape because he aided and abetted you in a rape everybody who has been connected to raping women in hollywood should be tried and sentenced and sent to jail for rape there should be no statute of limitations on rape 
And here's where you're really full of bullshit, uh, Russell Simmons. You're saying that you're going to step aside and commit yourself to continuing your personal growth, your spiritual learning, and your listening. All right. Well, maybe you need to listen to yourself. And you know that you raped that girl. You know that you raped a bunch of girls over the course of your career. So if you want to do the right thing, you know that you should serve some jail time. You know that you should go to jail for what you did. If you, if for what you did, if you want to absorb yourself of all of this rape baggage that has been leveled against you and it's true, commit yourself to a trial. Commit yourself to a jury. Let them decide what goes on and what's going to go on with Russell Simmons. And then you agree to whatever it is that they're going to do because that is part of spiritual growth. It's recognizing your sin, living up to your sin, and paying for your sin. Pay for your sins, you rapist. This is KTM and the Wake Up Report saying think a little bit. It will do wonders for you. 